Okay guys, Emton Tem here. Today we're gonna look at the new version of Octane Render 2.4. Um, this is the new build that was released a few days ago. A new one will be released a few days from now um, for the other operating systems. This is running on Windows 64 bit. So the first thing we're gonna look at um, is the just pause that. Um, the graph editor, as you can see it's now infinite. So if you're working with complex scenes, um, this will be very useful for you. You don't have to jam everything into one place. The reasons why they're all up here is because I was working on my other monitor a few days ago. And the next feature is the um, lock render. No, is the uh, you are able to lock your render, which is here. So that means you cannot move. I'm clicking right now and you cannot move it so you can't let's just say you interrupted your two hour render it'd be really bad but if this lock is on then you can't you know mess around with it the next feature is the alpha background so all of this you go to your see pretty cool let's get right close to it, see all this, it's all blocked which is very good um, the next feature is the compact node inspector very good for Lot, oh, like, there's a lot more room and I've grown really accustomed to it as you can see the next feature is alpha shadows this is a big one that I wanted to have for a long time um, let's just put the let's just get a good position around here right to the grass it's only enabled in path tracing though. Now for shadows. Very good. So that's that. Let's just change that. The next is shift lens. Um, this is a new feature that everyone wanted I don't really see much use of it maybe it's because I'm a noob still but oh, I guess that's a bit alright but um yep that's um, pretty much it there's a lot more technical stuff too and a lot more bug fixes but apart from that um, this is the new build Hope you have fun with it, because I know I have.